Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, we are going to talk about classification of microorganisms on the basis of temperature requirements. So let's start. So we can classify different type of microorganisms as per their temperature requirements in five different types. Let's see what are these types. First one is psychrophiles. Second one is psychrotrophs, which are also called as facultative psychrophiles. Third one is mesophiles. Fourth one is thermophiles and the fifth one is hyperthermophiles. Now, we will try to understand each of these types one by one under these headings, right? So, let's start with the first one, what we call as psychrophiles. First, you should know that psychrophiles are also commonly known as cryophiles as these are cold loving microorganisms, right? Now, let's see what kind of temperature ranges preferred for the growth of psychrophilic microorganisms. So, psychrophiles can grow well at 0 degree Celsius temperature, but the optimum temperature supporting the growth of psychrophile is 15 degree Celsius or lower. Now, you should note the optimum temperature for a particular type of microorganism is actually the temperature at which that microorganism has the shortest generation time or we can say that at optimum temperature, a specific type of microorganism shows maximum rate of multiplication, right? And if we talk about maximum temperature, then for psychrophilic microorganism, maximum temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius, right? Now we will be talking about the habitat. Then you should know we can easily isolate psychrophilic microorganisms from Arctic and Antarctic habitats. Now why it is so? Because the Arctic and Antarctic habitats are mostly represented by oceans and 90% of the ocean water has a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, right? Which actually create a kind of favorable environmental conditions that is colder conditions to support the growth of psychrophilic microorganisms. Now, let's see the examples of psychrophiles. Then Bacillus psychrophilus, which is a bacteria, is a very good example of psychrophilic microorganism. And if we talk about Chlamydomonas nivellus, it is actually a protist. And one more thing you should know, an interesting phenomena what is called as watermelon snow. For that, Chlamydomonas nivellus is responsible. How? Because it has been found that Chlamydomonas nivellus is known to produce red color spores, which are known to give red color to the glaciers. Okay, so let's talk about the second type now, psychrotrophs. If we talk about psychrotrophs, then you should know psychrotrophs are also called as psychrotolerant microorganisms. And they are also called as facultative psychrophiles. Now, if we talk about the temperature range which favor the growth of psychrotrophs, then you should know they can easily grow at 0 degree Celsius temperature or higher. But the optimum temperature supporting the growth of psychrotrophs is 20 to 30 degree Celsius. And the maximum temperature at which psychrotrophs can grow is around 35 degree Celsius. Now, if we are interested in studying psychrotrophic populations of microorganisms, then we can easily isolate them from the stored refrigerated foods because it has been found that these microorganisms are one of the major factors involved in spoilage of refrigerated food items, right? Now, let's see the examples of psychrotrophs, then Listeria monocytogenes and Pseudomonas fluorescens. These are very good examples of psychrotrophic bacteria, right? Let's see the third type, mesophiles. If we talk about mesophiles, then mesophiles are known to grow at 15 to 20 degrees Celsius of minimum temperature. But the optimum temperature supporting the growth of mesophiles is 20 to 45 degrees Celsius, right? And the maximum temperature which can support their growth is 45 degrees Celsius, right? Now, we can easily isolate mesophiles from human body. Especially, we can say that almost all human pathogens are mesophilic. Why? Because human body is known to maintain a fairly constant temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, right? And that temperature that is 37 degrees Celsius falls in the optimum temperature category of mesophiles that is in between 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. That's why mesophiles can easily grow inside the human body. Let's see the examples now. E. coli and Trichomonas vaginalis. These are very good examples of mesophiles, right? Let's see the fourth type, thermophiles. Thermophiles, you should know, they are actually heat-loving microorganisms. We can say high-temperature-loving microorganisms these are. So, thermophiles can grow at 45 to 85 degrees Celsius temperature. But the optimum temperature supporting the growth of thermophiles is 55 to 65 degrees Celsius. This is the preferable range for 
thermophilic microorganisms and to a maximum of 85 degrees celsius thermophilic microorganisms can grow now let's see from what kind of habitats we can report the presence of thermophiles then compost self heating haystacks as shown in the picture and hot water springs right these are very good sources for easy isolation of thermophilic type of microorganisms let's see the examples now geobacillus stereothermophilus right and thermos aquaticus these are very good examples of bacteria coming under thermophilic category if we talk about geobacillus stereothermophilus its spores are very well known to act as a biological indicator in moist heat sterilization and if we talk about thermos aquaticus thermos aquaticus is well known to all of us as a source of tac polymerase which is used to carry out tcr that is polymerase chain reaction in recombinant dna technology right let's see the last and fifth type hyperthermophiles if we talk about hyperthermophiles hyperthermophiles has an optimum temperature of 85 to 113 degrees celsius right and if we are interested in isolating hyperthermophiles or interested in studying their habitat then we should know what areas of the sea floor are the kind of environment from where hyperthermophiles can be easily isolated now let's see the examples then you should know pyrococcus abiasi and pyrodictium occultum these are very good examples of hyperthermophiles and hyperthermophiles as they prefer extreme range of temperature for their growth that's why they are also a very good example under extremophiles category and extremophiles we all know they are actually those microorganisms what we study under archae bacteria right so this was all about today's video i hope this content is really going to help you thank you so much keep watching